Hey gamers, that pause was me remembering to turn on caption before I started talking. Hello everybody. Uh, chat seems like you have big, big but good Wednesday energy. Extremely here for that. Um, welcome to Mushroom Gown, no phallus, any percent run. That's what we're doing today. Uh, this is my promise to you. There's not going to be any precarious images. Nothing uh, is going to appear on the screen that's going to make you go, hmm? It's going to be nothing. It's going to be pure, 100% clean. I thought about putting that in the title. I thought about putting, let's make a mushroom gown, no phallus run. Uh, I'm worried about, <laughs> I'm worried about what kind of audience that would attract. I I mean, presumably good, right? If I'm explicitly saying, saying it's going to be a clean stream, but... Uh, I decided not to risk it. So it's just, this is just my verbal promise to you that um, it's going to be a clean stream. Nothing, nothing suspect, nothing uh, questionable on this stream as per usual. There might be some buts, but those are fine, I think. Um, but hello, everybody. Wow, already a link to a really wild mushroom. I was looking at mushrooms earlier, trying to get inspo. Uh, there. That's a lot. The, it, I'm warning, warning about clicking on that link. It's pretty gross. It's got a lot. It's gooier than I would expect a mushroom to be. Um, <laughs> so this is the energy for today's uh, stream, I guess. I'm pretty excited. Lizzie Who, thank you for re-upping your subscription. No butt plugs this one either. Nothing. This is going to be a clean, pure, clean, beautiful, gentle clean pure stream today that's my promise my evening beer is uh ithaca beer flower power what happened is i need more bottles to brew my next brew i've i've been doing homebrew stuff and i needed more bottles because i gave some away and so i needed to replace them so i just got a random handful of bottled beers this one's very nice I don't drink a lot of IPAs, but this one is very pleasant. Hello, Vaporize. Thank you once again also for upping, re upping your subscription. I guess it's that time of the month. Oh, good. All right. Another, another image of a mushroom. Let me click on this. God, that's cool. <gasps> that's pretty. It's like lace, like burnt lace. God. All right. So I'm thinking, uh, will this gown have a wearer? That's a great question. Uh, or will it just be the garment? I think this will just be the garment. The last time uh, we did an outfit, it was just the garment. And then we d I did have a little skeleton that we put it on. So actually, let me add a skeleton. Meat rig. Uh, what have I been homebrewing? Just a... Um, I've been getting um, kits from Brooklyn Brew Shop uh, and just been brewing those. So they've been great. So I made like a really nice jalapeno Cezanne. Uh, the last beer I made was a pale ale green tea and that did not go great. <laughs> it didn't, it just didn't steep well. I didn't like it. Um, but I've got a kit for a dandelion Groot and I've never had a Groot. So I don't know how it's supposed to turn out. So if it turns out bad, I won't have any way of knowing. And that's a lot of pressure off. Um, so that's my plan. Field trip. God, I miss field trips. That sounds amazing. God, I want to do beach trips this year. I'm much closer to Coney Island than I was in my last uh, apartment. So I want to hop down and do. Ha! Yeah, I don't do that kind of homebrew. <laughs> but I can appreciate the crossover. It includes dandelion greens, which are edible. And I eat quite a lot of this time of year because my CSA does a lot of like foraged foods. So uh, it's not actual dandelion flowers, it's the green bits. And so it's like, it's like a green beer. I don't know, it's, it's that it's herbaceous, which I like in anything. Uh, yeah, dandelion greens are great, CSAs are great. I'm just so happy it's spring. <laughs> Oh yeah, generally Jenna, I'm also very excited about Versus. Here's a fun fact about Versus, the new series that I'm piloting at uh, Polygon.com. Uh, it was originally spelled V-E-R, 
SES uh, and has been for like the months we've been sort of honing it. Uh, and then we presented it on Monday to the rest of the group and uh, Tara got a bunch of DMs that said you spelled versus wrong, V-E-R-S-U-S. -E and I said, no, it's a pun. It's a pun on alternate reality and then versus. Uh, and Tara was like, well, we have to change it. <laughs> Too many people didn't understand what the pun was, so we had to change it. So now it's versus, uh, which <laughs> is also great. But it was just this moment of like, nerds, you nerds, you think it's a pun. Uh, too clever for my own good, my life story. Yeah, cowards. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I was ready to go to bat for it, but also it was the sort of thing where it was like, Pad's video was done. It was like, it, this was literally Monday. I can't, like, we, I've been working, we've been working on this since literally end of last year. And it's been versus the entire time. <laughs> uh, which is a shame. I mean, that's, you know, it's, it's happened. Well, here's the thing. When you work with a bunch of editors, it's very easy for them to spot grammatical errors because that's their job. But then um, when it turns out it's a pun, it's a little bit trickier. Um, mushroom bubbles. Using Blender. Yeah, Drazia, thank you. I saw Nathan wasn't streaming today. Uh, and then I saw you in the chat and I was like, I'm putting two plus two together. It makes five. Flyablehead, thank you for reopening your subscription. It is that time of year. This must be, this must be like eight months to the dot. <laughs> uh, yeah, Rat Mouse, that's the thing is like, it didn't even occur to me that anyone would think we were misspelling it. Um, but you know, that's creative work sometimes. Sometimes... Uh, you just need somebody to step back and say, hey, you misspelled this thing. <laughs> All right. Uh, Simon Shakes, e every single one of my videos includes roughly two to four puns that are too subtle for anybody but me to appreciate. Uh, and I usually try to coax those. In fact, the video I'm working on right now, I just finished the script on has a pun that I was like, this is too clever to go to be subtle. So we're just going to make it really obvious. And I'm excited about that. Oh, generally, general, that's an interesting perspective as a historian. Does such a good job highlighting the things that make history happen the way it did. It reminds us that history is never inevitable. That's so that's it's so much a of the like energy I wanted to bring to the the Pokemon Digimon video is that like uh it really it really bothers me I'm not a historian but I have studied history a lot cultural history specifically uh and I it it is wild to hear people be like or, or to to hear perspectives on history that are like well this was always going to be popular this was always going to happen and like knowing like that's just not that ain't it dog <laughs> Uh, and so it's fun to make alternate history to sort of explore, uh, explore, explore what could have been. The one I'm working on a versus two, it's the next script I'm going to be working on after I get the one I'm working on right now finished. And it's going to, it's great. <laughs> I'm so excited for it. It's going to outrage people. I'm pretty excited. Oh, Ron, thank you. I had somebody else posted that too. I think, I actually think it was Peter. I think I posted that on Twitter. Uh, and that's delightful. I'm just delighted by that. It was it, honestly one of my favorite videos to make because it was really like, I want to I want to write fan fiction, and so I'm gonna pitch this video, and then it they let me, which is great. All right, uh, let's um do a mushroom. <laughs> let's make a mushroom. Oh, that's fair. Cinnamon Shakes. It is a filthy video. Much like this video is not going to be, this one's going to be pure and clean and beautiful. Uh, that's my promise to you. <laughs> God, the Digimon po- Yeah, I'm excited for all of the video. We have a couple, couple lined up um, topic-wise for verses. And I really, like, mine is too far away for me to start spoiling y'all on it, but it's going to be incredible. Hey, whether or not. Yeah, I saw Nathan isn't streaming today. Yeah, welcome to my No Phallus run. No, nothing untoward. 
totally pure clean gentle true honest no spoilers no spores not well no that's not true no spoilers lots of spores all right let's um generic mushroom lots of tiny mushrooms those weird flat ones here's the thing is i don't really know it here's what i was thinking in my mind when i think of an iconic shape for a gown it's got like a really wide skirt and for some reason to me that feels like it would be really perfect for a mushroom shape like a beautiful little whoop you know boomp, boomp. so maybe we'll start there let's start there and figure it out <laughs> yes good poor mentos chat oh cc doesn't know the word phallus phallus Phallus. Phallus. Phallus? Phallus. Okay. Yeah. See, closed captioning doesn't know the word phallus. Luckily, the word phallus is not dirty, so I can say that as many times as I want. Hi, Rascalin. Everything's chill. Nothing is happening. Nothing's wrong. It's clean. It's a clean. It's gonna be a clean video. Let's. I'm gonna make a m mushroom. Let's make a mushroom. I mean, the the most obvious, if if I think about mushrooms that I think would be really good um, gowns, the Amanita is perfect because it's got such a beautiful color. Very iconic. Let me look at a lion's mane. Lion's mane. Mushroom. Generally, Jenna, that feels like a, an achievable prompt. Something with a big old bustle. Ooh, the lion's mane. God, this is beautiful. I'm seeing a lot of recipes, which is not going to help me copy it. Ah, oh, it's so pretty. It looks like a cave formation. This is wild. Mushrooms are wild, gang. When I think of some of the most interesting and iconic creatures on this planet, mushrooms are definitely up there. Woods ear mushrooms. Oh, I know woods ear. Oh, one of the favorite dishes of my partner and I has woods, have woods ears in it. Um, and I don't eat mushrooms, so I never eat them. God, it has such a weird velvety texture. How weird. Morale mushrooms were another one I was thinking. Because that has, again, just really, really satisfying shapes. Satisfying shapes that I think I could make in Blender easily without accidentally making a penis. Yeah. So spongy. Mm, okay. All right. Let's see. What are we doing here? Let's. I don't eat mushrooms. I don't like their texture. Uh, taste wise, they're fine. Uh, but the texture is a real mental block for me. Uh, every couple of months, I, I convince myself that I'm going to like mushrooms. And so I eat them. And then it's sort of like. Uh, I imagine it's sort of like watching a dog that has just gotten a new chew toy. Because I'm always just like... Oh. Not, it's, not, it's not great. It's something really basic about the texture. It's like, I, even if I have it like roasted or no, no matter what, no matter how I have the mushroom prepared, it's usually a pretty, pretty big struggle. I, you know, I almost never eat raw mushrooms, so maybe... Mushroom chips? Do they make those? I'm also, I'm thinking, okay, first off, I think this gown has to be asymmetrical. Because mushrooms are pretty wild. Uh, pretty wild shapes. Ooh, similarly to coconut. I can see that. Coconut's got an, a unique texture. Ooh, perfect mushroom outfit. Let's click. <laughs> Looks like a fun guy to me let's do what if they were finely chopped like in ravioli filling well here's the thing is because i mean that would probably be fine but i would never make that or order that because i know i don't like mushrooms so it's the sort of thing where it's like i i just never i don't i don't often if i'm gonna eat mushrooms it's because somebody near me has ordered them and i'm i am formally requesting a sample so that I can double check if I still like mushrooms or I still don't like mushrooms. And then when I don't, I'm like, well, that's just the way it is. 
So yeah, I might I might like it if it were chopped up. The grossest mushrooms the one in the Mario Brothers movie. <laughs> yeah. Those f yeah. That those are more like mold than mushrooms in my opinion. I mean, it's the, it's the, here's the thing about not liking mushrooms is it's kind of nice because if you have like, uh, I frequently have partners that very much like mushrooms. And so it's one of those things where it's like, this is a nice thing that we can share. I give, I give you my mushrooms and then I don't have to eat them, but it's like, we're having, we're sharing a little meal together. It's nice. I did make a brain and that's okay. Cause brains aren't pervy. I mean, a, your mileage may vary on that statement. Anyway. Ooh, out of a clump of mushrooms. What if a mushroom, what if the top was like a clump of mushrooms that came up over the side? I'm going to start with like a pretty basic mushroom shape for the skirt. That's what this is. I've sort of been fussing with it in not a productive way. That's blender sometimes. And then we can, we can grow them up from there. I like the idea of like, the, just the idea of a mushroom bustle. <laughs> For some reason, it's very pleasing to me. Even the phrase mushroom bustle is pretty, pretty delightful. Okay. Oh, we definitely do an asymmetrical. For sure. For sure, for sure. Okay, let's get, uh, I think what we're going to do is we're going to rough out the shape and then we're going to make it a little more, more clean. So let me get deep in here and give us a little bit more pixels. I also like an asymmetrical dress. Growing, I remember, I have very, very vivid memory of searching for a prom dress when I was young, high school, with my mom and picking out an asymmetrical dress and being told by my mom that only sluts wear asymmetrical dresses. My mother is super chill. And this was the part of the reason this sticks out in my mind is that it's, it's so it's so clear to me that her mother told her that at some point and she, that just stuck out in her head as something that was true again the in no way I, I like i've never heard my mother use the word slut before i she is never slut shamed she's a very chill and lovely woman it's just one of those things where it's like clearly somebody told you this <laughs> and it you remembered it and now you were passing it on to me uh it was super weird it was just a weird moment. I don't think that's true. I think asymmetrical outfits rule. In fact, let me go ahead and turn off symmetry. And what I'm gonna, gonna do, an 80s pantsuit, yeah, yes, definitely. Uh, I'm gonna snake hook a bunch of stems up and then we can sort of figure this out. Let me look at like a mushroom clump. What's a good, does anybody know a good clumpy mushroom? <laughs> like a, a good mushroom, what does the, I'm picture, I can picture one. I can picture one, but I don't, I'm okay. And now I'm looking at a picture of one, but I don't remember what it's, what it's called. What kind are you? One of these ones has just got a lot of gnoc, enoki. I think enoki is it. Oh, this is not what I was thinking of. Oh, no, this is. Yeah, this is it. This is it. Yes. Yeah. Oh, these are so cute. They're so cute. Mushrooms are good. Um, The one... I don't know. I don't know how to answer that teacup full of rainbows because it, it is both of those things. Enoki are one that you can eat, right? I also have a, another, here's another great memory. I remember having, um, 
a doormat <laughs> growing up um, when I was very young and that, that gro doormat grew a bunch of these mushrooms on it. Uh, and I remember we stepped on it because it was a doormat. And so we ended up killing those mushrooms. And my dad was really upset because he wanted to eat those mushrooms. But, I'm, but also, like, the, they're f on our doormat. Maybe don't eat those mushrooms. I don't know. Just feels like a non-ideal a non mushroom to eat. That <laughs> draws you, yes. That's very true. No matter no matter what we did to it, we could not truly hurt it. Oh, Chanterelle, to meet you. Oh, Cinnamon Shakes, you've done it again. Huh. I'm probably pronouncing Enokia wrong, and that's why it's... <laughs> Why ca closed captioning is struggling. Let me think about... I'm already sort of regretting not making this a different, its own shape. Oh, poison hoarder. Ugh. I mean, incredible. Exactly as deserved. Ha <laughs> ha! Yes. Many, many years before I had met Karen, my dad was for sure channeling some of that. <laughs> Anything is edible. My dad would say that. Anything is edible if you're not a coward. Classic. Let me go ahead and I'll make a divot here. Do I need to make a divot here? Is this going to do anything for me? Maybe we'll just know that this is where the waste is. I'm not going to cut all the way through this mushroom. This will just be how we know. Ah, Quanta, that's really good. That's good and true and good advice. Ooh, a beautiful pink-orange gradient? Yeah, maybe. That does sound lovely. Fungus is beautiful. It's, it is so lovely. I think fun fungus and sea life are some of the most beautiful stuff that we got on this planet. Adding a little depth. So I can pull more stuff up. Problem with the Inoki mushrooms. They're very dense. They all have density. That's tricky. Especially with sculpting because stuff just wants to meld together. Ooh, I love the red and white. I know they're pretty poisonous as I understand it, but they are like the most beautiful and iconic shroom, shrooms, shroomums. I put a mushroom in my mouth, but don't swallow it because it grows because of the dark and damn environment. Amazing. Yeah, and Amanita. More like Amanito. That's how I feel about him. Pretty neat.
man i feel like maybe this is just my feed but i feel like we've moved past sourdough and so many people i follow on twitter have gotten mushroom going kits um which rules and which i'm again very here for despite not being an eater of the mushrooms myself but it's just cool it's neat to see all, all their progress photos of the mushrooms that they grow Ah, I haven't played a jump scary game recently. Oh, so I did, I cracked open Resident Evil Village. I've been playing it. I was thinking about streaming it, but um, here's terrible news. It runs so bad on my computer. Um, just like borderline, like the, the cutscenes are just borderline non-functional. Um, <laughs> just not great uh so it's just not not gonna be available for me to stream um sadly the hair growing mod is superb superb Sorry, no vampire lady for you. Uh, I will also be out for, delightfully, a birthday party on Sunday. Uh, so I will not be streaming at the time I have been. I'm going to see about doing a Saturday stream. Just a pickup. Ha <laughs> ha! Peter, you're correct. I also have that exact hat. It is an elaborately giant hat. I will pull it out before the end of the stream so you can see i'm not lying it's giant i almost i can't i can't basically can't wear it in new york because it's so big it's like disruptive on the subway um which is a shame but it's a great hat i i strongly i have strongly considered doing a lady d cosplay it feels very on brand uh, but what happened is that, um, I got tired and then I didn't do it. Hat spread on the subway. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I'll get the hat now. Let me just show you guys how big. Here's the hat. It's broader across, broader across than my shoulders. <laughs> it's difficult to get it all in frame. I originally purchased this for a Marceline cosplay and then I kept it because it's a great hat. Uh, in fact, I have it partially pinned up so that I can wear it out functionally. It's a good hat. Here's the thing about this hat. Um, it's great. <laughs> it provides me such like a, a cushion of sunlight. It protects me from sun. It just in my entire body. It's better than an umbrella. It also people will take four steps in either direction to get away from you if you're wearing this hat. It's an excellent hat. I bought this in Portland. Ugh. But it is just a monstrosity. <laughs> yeah, it's a social social distance enforcing hat. <laughs> um, I love that hat. I love all my hats, but that one is probably the most extra, which I love. It's perfect for beach outings. Like I said, it is just like, it's like a mobile umbrella. It's, a mo it's an umbrella that you wear on your head, but is which is still fashion. Hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, Mantis Shromp that, but in the uh, um, what is a man? <laughs> that, but said like, uh, what is the man speech? Ah, oh, cheesecake. Yes, gender fluid, I would also appreciate um, elaboration. Presumably you were in the woods in a, in a fancy dress. Oh, I can just grab? Oh no, I've always been doing that. Hold on. A miserable pile of giant sun hats, yeah. If we're lucky. <laughs> Ooh, okay, yeah, that works. That's gonna meld together instantly the second I try to do anything with it, but that's fine. God, y'all have cheesecake? I'm so jelly. Oh, Lizzie, for sure. I think I think there will be time, and one way or another, it'll have a hat. Too many good mushrooms will make too many good hats. This has been, already been such a hat-centric stream. Bitch, definitely have a hat. A shiitake hat. I like that. R mushroom hat feels very natural. It feels like most most hats are already kind of mushroom hats, you know? A stringle, a single raspberry is a hat. Presumably, it's a beret. What fruit would make the best hat? That's a great question. And man. There's not a lot of flat, not a lot of flat uh, fruit. I'm trying to think about a, f a fruit that would flatten out so ni nicely to be a hat. Just don't know. Just don't know. There's a lot of them. Oh, a kiwi hat. Strawberry hat at the top of a strawberry would be pretty cool. Buddha's hand would be an amazing hat. A Buddha hand. That's nothing. I'm sorry. I take that back. Hmm. 
is there is there a function that would allow me to just squeeze <laughs> squeeze all of these shapes together and to make it a nice tight shape maybe it's just the grab maybe i could do it on a pixel level that might be <laughs> no don't clip it it was nothing it was i i didn't even say words it was i sneezed it was not, I didn't, I didn't say nothing. I didn't say nothing. Oh, that went off all, all on the wrong direction. Get in there. Get in there. All of you get in there. It's gotta be like a little bundle. Shapes take so much time. You know, what's the deal even? <laughs> wow, yeah, Nightbot, <laughs> Nightbot saw you. Nightbot saw you and it just described your fortune. Oh, mix this up. You're so, I'm just so jealous. I'm so jealous of your little kitty. Uh, the whole quote thing is you call a quote with exclamation point quote. You can add quotes when I say dumb stuff. Uh, if you add terrible quotes, I have the capacity to remove them at my will, but I basically never do that. Because, the you know, the, ter you know, the terrible quotes are kind of the point. Kind of the point. And, uh, another, I mean, sometimes they just lay truth bombs on you, like about... Zena. <laughs> that must have been from the uh, last outfit one we did. Oh yeah, also you can call up, call up the whole ass quote list. I think you can call individual numbered quotes as well. <laughs> Lucy Lou. <Liu. laughs> um, if she were I ever in Xena, I would have died. I would have just imploded. It would have been too much. Oh, generally, Jen, I don't know how exactly to pull specific quotes, but I'm certain the internet could tell you. Okay, is this enough to cover a bosom? Probably not. Probably not, huh? There's a lot of gaps there, huh? I think it might be really small compared to what the rest of what I've made. Uh, let me think about what to do about that. All oh, right, forgot I made a tiny little human. The meta humans are so weird. Well, I'll just erase that. We don't have to pretend like that's there. Hmm. Hmm.
Thank you for the subscription, Elliday. Nothing but clean, pure, mushroom-based entertainment here, week after week. Is that better? In a way that's better, and in a way not. Oh, I did not know that. Um, God, what a, yeah, truly an icon. Hot damn. I'm going to silence my phone real quick. Clearly something's happening on the group chat. Okay, all right, okay. Still some gaps. Maybe add one more right there. How do I do that? Could I just copy and pasta it? No, I'll just do a regular one. Maybe? No, I'll just do a regular one. Maybe? Yeah, I'll just do a regular one. Night poison hoarder. Oh, the chats are good. Chats, the chats are good. The chats have great energy every week. All right, let's. I am playing Resident Evil Village. I've uh, I've gotten I haven't gotten very far into it yet, because um, unfortunately it runs like hot hot garbage on my computer. Um, every time I get to a cutscene, <laughs> the it doesn't drop frames; it just goes into slow motion, and the audio track clearly is all one track and it's triggered. So I just sort of have to listen to it as it gets out of sync with what I'm seeing <laughs> and then I have to sit after the audio stops and wait for it to catch up so that I can play the game and so that's been annoying outside of the cutscenes it's been fine um so so the answer is yes I haven't gotten very far in it really don't know what to do about it I dropped all of the graphics down to the lowest setting uh, and it looked legitimately like I was playing a PS2 game, <laughs> which is kind of fun, given that it was Resident Evil, but it was not the vibe I was hoping for. It had the vibe of a D-Make 100%. Absolutely. I don't know what causing it. Like, my computer is not that old. My graphics card is not that old, so I don't know what it is that was causing it. Surely the game is broken and not my my rig is perfect. 
Wow. Did I say that? Nightbot's right. If you kiss somebody and they taste like marinara every, all the time, that's probably an alien. That tracks to me. Yeah, that's the thing is like I want I want to see Lady D in the glossiest pixels that I have a, a cap capacity for. I, I don't know. I don't know what it is. I, it is probably just that my graphics card is too old. That, you know, that happens. That happens. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it could just be a weird glitch. I haven't seen any similar issues online, but that doesn't mean they're not there. I mean, there is, I mean, here's the thing. Maybe it's overheating, but in the, you know, what kind of way? You know? Like, maybe? I don't know. Could be. <laughs> mm. All right. I will continue to fuss with these bits uh, later. <laughs> like my computer's getting all horny for Lady D. I can't say the words. This is a clean stream. I made one promise at the start of the stream, and that was going to be clean. And we're already we're already getting into dangerous territory. I've not yet found a good way of entirely cutting through a shape. Which is frustrating because that's a thing I'm increasingly want to do. I guess I'll just have to sit down and figure out how to do that. I still believe we can deliver. I have not yet, we've not yet reached phallus zone. So I'm feeling okay about my promise so far. <laughs> you know, but danger isn't it, you know, right? You can, you can get into dangerous territory without getting into danger. All right. Okay, so uh, this is just going to be the rough shape. This will be finessed later, probably by somebody, I guess me. But in the meantime, yeah, I've got, I'm going to put little, little cute little button heads on all of these. That'll be different. The tendrils are helping a lot. The tendrils are doing a lot of heavy lifting, uh, and I appreciate that. Maybe do one more. I'm just going to do one more. I don't like how blocky this one is. One more tendril. Come on. Go. Go up. There you go. Nope, got all diagonal. I know this would be so much easier if I just finally committed to using the masking option, just like I do in real life. I mask up in real life. I don't know why I won't do it in Blender, but you know, you've got to have principles, I guess. The It is a no phallus stream. I can't promise no horny stream. I don't think that's possible. The thing about quotes for the quotes for me is I don't remember saying basically any of them. <laughs> Sometimes I can guess the context, but truly, if if they were had been said by an entirely different person, I I would not be able to tell the difference.
<laughs> we're, we're over the hump of the horniest part of the stream. I wouldn't, I wouldn't put it past the stream to circle back. The horniest part being Lady T talk, yeah. That's, yeah, that's fair. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. I feel like I could literally spend four hours fussing with these tendrils. And that at the end of that, I would be mad. I would be like gothic era closet mad. So I'm not gonna do it anymore. Oh God. Oh god, what are you guys disappearing for? <laughs> okay. Good girl audio. I'm gonna pin this and listen to it later. Oh, that. I, yeah, I have seen that. <laughs> oh, it was stressful. Wonderful. Played for the chat. I. I. I don't know if I can do that. Hold on. All right. Let's just do it. <laughs> You're just ridiculous. Just ridiculous. You probably, probably could not pick that up. <laughs> probably could not hear that. It is what it is. You'll just have to listen to it yourself. Okay. Ha ha ha! That was like from the first time that I accidentally made a butt plug on screen. It's great, great times. Classic times. We were never over the hump. That's the tricky thing. N part, of, part of running the stream is knowing that we're never over that hump. That hump is always available. <laughs> okay. Uh. <laughs> Rat mouse. Phew. I'm not. This would be a lot. Okay. Okay. I'm not going to add any more tendrils. I can't. Part of me is like I can see gaps and so it needs more tendrils. But I can't. I've been at it for like an hour. I've got to do other stuff. Hmm. Okay. What are we? All right. So this is going to end up being the bodice. I know it doesn't look like much right now, but I'm imagining this will be sort of a, uh, maybe I can, there we go. Let me, the other side. Okay. This is the part that kind of goes goes over cross. Oh, bye, Drazia. I'm going to remember to raid y'all today. So just be, be prepared for that, I guess. Nordic Wrath, it was a great quote. Thank you. Bye, whether or not. Have good modding. I am almost certainly going to add more tendrils later. I just can't help. I can't help but not. I just can't help it. I just want to add more tendrils. It's very satisfying. I wonder if I could just copy. Well, you know what? You know what? You know what? Sometimes, you know what? These streams, the streams can be. I 
these streams can be experimental, so let me fucking experiment. Let me be risky. And if it doesn't work, then that's fine. I'll delete it and nobody will ever mention it and it'll be perfect. Okay. I'm gonna take a chance on love right now. What am I doing? This is the worst way of doing it. Here we go. What am I going to do? I think. No, I've got a plan. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, there we go. <laughs> twice as many twice as many tendrils nothing's gonna go wrong with this can I how what am I doing okay twice as many tendrils they are identical uh, let me Ooh, I mean, that's cool. That's not what I meant to do, but that was cool. Uh, we'll get there. We'll get there, Jenna. Probably, maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe we'll get there. <laughs> maybe? Okay. All right. Okay. I think that'll work. This stuff I'll fix later so that you, it won't be quite so visible. Probably should have done that after I added heads to all of them, but I actually think this is okay. 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 I'm just gonna gather all of this over here. Maybe, do I wanna do that? How do I wanna dress you? How do I wanna address this situation? Terrible, terrible. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. I'll add caps to all these cuties later. Because that feels like it's going to be annoying. The captions made the pun before I circled back on it? That's awesome. I would, I would, I wish the captions would just always make puns for me and then I wouldn't have to do it. That would be an ideal ideal case scenario for me. When will they finally automate my job away? <laughs> All right. Yeah, I'm thinking it'll be I'm thinking that this is like the rigid front. Let me let me slap this. If they could automate puns away, they already would have. Surely the science will catch up at some day. But it hasn't yet. <laughs> this looks horrifying because of how horrifying the meat rig is. <laughs> 
yeah bumble that's exactly what it's doing it's uh it's doing it's got kind of a this one how it looks now it does look like one of the titty bones is free i'm using that as an anatomical term so it's okay it's not pervy but I'm picturing something like this, which means I do, I've got to make the bottom, I've got to make this bottom mushroom a little bit shapelier. That's just the long and short of it. I would love it this, yeah. I would love to design something that would look like it could go in a Dark Souls game. Hey, Libblazalalia, welcome. <laughs> welcome. <laughs> Titty bone. Ba -dum -bum -bum. Ba -dum -titty -bum. Now I've got jitterbugs stuck in my head. And I have nobody to blame but myself. <laughs> what is croissant supposed to do? Hi, Obijan. If you slept through an hour, it means you needed to sleep. That's probably fine. All right. Gosh, this is this is off balance. Problem is, I can't see the person uh, while I'm in this shape. And I don't know how to change that. <laughs> okay. Lean back. Fuss with you a little. There we go. All right. Hmm. Goomba with a mohawk. All right. Okay, so this is what I'm picturing. It goes up like that. It discreetly covers everything. Let's let's actually have an idea. Just we'll shape this out a little bit more. What is a croissant? A, bi a miserable pile of butter, as I understand it. All right. Okay. All right. All right. Yeah. So sort of like that. I did create a perfect little, perfect little nip window, but that's fine. Perfect. Beautiful. All right. And then I feel like we talked about Morel Pauldron, which I'm actually very, very into. So let me make a whole new shape for that. Oh, yeah. Pasties are an option. Gosh, the idea of mushroom pasties is delightful. If I went to like a burlesque show and somebody was wearing mushroom pasties, I would be I would be perfectly delighted. Dino Topo, get in here. Dino Topo, it's too early. There we go. Slimer Burlesque? I have not seen it. I have seen the uh, McElroy Brothers <laughs> Burlesque show that they did. I presume, I don't know if they did it this year. But they did it a few years ago and it was pretty incredible. It was pretty inc it was pretty upsetting, but it was pretty incredible. Do you have a link to the Slimer Burlesque? Because I am curious. More curious than I want to admit. There is a there is a My Brother and My Brother and Me McElroy themed burlesque night, 
and it had a bunch of characters from like Monster Factory. Um, there was a final Pam burlesque. There was a final Pam strip act uh, by a uh, burlesque performer that I'm now friends with hilariously. <laughs> hilariously, weirdly. Um, the final Pam was incredible. There was like a Raven Queen from the Adventure Zone. There's a bunch of Adventure Zone characters. It was incredible. I'm pretty certain they still do it. So if you ever, I, I highly, highly recommend it. It was an excellent performance. I would go again. Lady Krim Krimanetsku, incredible. That's a top tier pun. All right, I'm gonna o once again open this link and then look about a look at this later. Oh boy, you God, just the thumbnail for the Slimer burlesque show is a lot. Uh, I love burlesque shows, and I love going to burlesque shows where they do burlesque, burlesque of wild shit. Um, it's just great. <laughs> I just like it. All right, let me look at what morels look like. What do you look like, cuties? What do you babies look like? Sponge. They spongy. <gasps> A hamster? What is your hamster's name? <laughs> tell us tell us more about your hamster formal request tell us about your pets i don't have a pet right now i'm jealous of people who do yeah acquired is a suspicious term <laughs> we all agree acquired is a weird way of describing the process by which one gets a hamster. I acquisitioned a hamster today. Oh, stray cats. Wonderful. Do you ever get to pet them? Ah, a bastard, but pretty cute. Yeah, that's, that's animals for you. Oscar the Grouch Burlesque, amazing. Oh no, well, boo to your sister's friend, but good on you for taking in sweet little hamster what needs a home. <gasps> House finches, that's delightful. I don't have a better method of doing what I'm doing. So this is going to be it. And it's going to work and it's going to be fine. Well, what do you look like? Just spongy. Kind of, kind of, kind of long lines of sponge. Okay. Dwarf hamster. That's pretty cute, conceptually. Oh, a hawk nest, that's cool. These are good tidings. It's good luck to have an animal nesting outside your window, probably.
Yeah, big orange candy peanut. Yeah, the circus circus peanuts. Technically considered candy, arguably just foam. Oh, ROM. Yeah, big ROM energy. Oh, I love ROM. What a, what a beautiful, sad sweetheart. Oh, yeah, or does she look like a morel? That's a good question. Two semesters, that's exciting. God, I guess it's then mid-May. I guess people are like out of school and shit. <laughs> I, you know, Jenna, I don't think we have talked about that. Somebody adventurous. Somebody, maybe somebody who doesn't like to eat mushrooms. Otherwise, they might potentially have at this. An icon. <laughs> Todd from Mario? Yeah, maybe. Oh, congrats to your little sibling. Oh, it might be me. I would wear this for sure. If I had access to this outfit, yeah. Lady Gaga, I could see that. Yeah, I could see Lady Gaga. I don't know if I'd have anywhere to wear a fancy mushroom gown, but I would be proud to wear such a thing. Not business casual? You know, I think it depends on your business, you know? But it, it is not very casual. <laughs> it does look like an amygdala. Or arguably an amygdala looks a lot like a morel. Oh yeah, big fey, fey energy on this. Could I just... Can I just... Copy pasta you. Is that gonna work? Is that gonna look weird? It's gonna look weird. <laughs> yeah. Wait, hold on. <laughs> uh, 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 hmm. Yeah, I made a gross walnut. Possibly some sort of diseased brain. I've made several brains. Well, you know, that's fungus's fault, I think, not mine. I think that's up to fungus. Bye, indigo horse. Matt, it's, you know what? Hey, I said, I said we were not, no phalluses today. And what, what is a, a brain but not a phallus? Right? Think about it. I got you there. Nobody can argue otherwise. <laughs> Jed tried to prevent you from saying the word phallus, which is very funny. I appreciate that I get to say it. Nobody else does. Oh yeah, hydration check. Thank you, Rat Mouse. Aww. 
Dino Tobo, why must you be so fussy? Okay, that's looking more more morale like. A little bit less even. A little more fragile. Beautiful. Let me see. Cause what I think you know what I was doing? I was I was paying too much attention to the uh, the down bits. I wasn't considering the negative space. Gotta be a combo. It's gotta be more lacy. It's a beautiful gown. It's gotta be a little bit lacy. might finish filling out the rest of this morale later. Oh, thank you for the Prime subscription, Buffington. Also, Buffington, break a, break a username. It makes me think of Bridgerton. That's what it makes me think of. Thank you for the subscribe. Okay. Yeah, all right, that was pretty good, okay, pretty morale. Mushroom Zori, um, what an appropriate stream for you to Prime subscribe to. Thank you for the Prime subscription. I appreciate it. I know you guys only get like one Prime subscription. So I appreciate that you, you're doing it to come here and uh, to support this thing that I'm doing. Okay. Morale shoulder pad. Okay, that actually looks pretty good. First World of Warcraft character. Gosh, classic. Wait, was your mom's cat named after uh, Buffy the Vampire Slayer or unrelated? And I love Mushroom. That's a great, perfectly good reason to, to use that as a username. Strong username vibes. Presumably close captioning 
did a great job with both of us. Grandmother's best friend. Well, that's great. Buffy's a good name. I regret somewhat that it has only become associated with the Vampire Slayer. Okay. God, yeah. All right. That's something. <laughs> That's definitely something, what I'm looking at right now. Okay. Y'all talking about Schrodinger? Excellent. Excellent chat. Hmm. <laughs> what a mad lad. Yeah. <laughs> All right, what else, what else do we want to do? What else do we want to do? Well, listen, the bone titty is going to be, it's going to peek through. You can see the little bone nipple right at the end there. Oh, a hat. Yeah, we got to do a hat. Okay. Let's figure out how to do this hat. What kind of mushroom should the hat be? Let me look at mushrooms for a moment. Are you Morel? I want to milky. Frills under the skirt, yes. Absolutely, yes. Uh, well, I'll, okay, let me start to add some frills. Inky cap. Inky cap mushroom. Ooh, those are pretty. Generally, Jenna, the ones you linked are pretty. So are the inky cap mushrooms. These are both very good. Um, we can make the skirt an inky cap mushroom because the skirt has not, I have not attached the skirt to anything. And this inky cap is just, wow. Wow, nature, you doing this? Nature, this you? Wild, what a wild creature. Uh, all right, let me inky cap up this skirt. Hot damn. I'm going to add, this is en important enough, I'm going to add a reference image. Pink oyster mushroom. Let me check that one out. Hold on. Uh... Look at this mushroom. Can you believe nature do that? It's ridiculous. I love that you guys know oysters and have oysters that you love. No, not oysters, have, <laughs> just looking at pink oyster mushroom. I love that you guys have mushrooms that you guys like the looks of. Okay, yeah, the pink, the pink oyster is very close to the one generally Jenna posted, um, which are just beautiful. Very, very good. Haha, <laughs> and in the chat for nature is very good. It's good and appropriate. Nature's the best. All right, so I'm gonna, uh, do I wanna finesse the, sh I guess I should finesse the shape a little bit. God, look at that, and the fact that it like evens out at the bottom. What, a, what, whatever, whatever nature. What a flex. Mm, let's do that.
Oyster Bottom Inky Cap Hat. Wait, like... Wait, what? Tell, tell me more. Oh, thank you, S Snorgler Dorfer. <laughs> That's a fun username to say out loud. Make the hat be inky cap? Uh, oh, God. I mean, something's got to be inky cap because look at this. Look at this thing. Um, well, I guess, yeah, chat, do we want hat to be inky cap? And if so... A roughly dressed bottom made out of oysters would be pretty cool. Let me pull up a pic. Actually, I'm just going to use this pic generally Jenna dropped. I think the if we did the oysters as the bottom, it would have to be like upside down. Let me put, let me get, whoop. Crazed chemist, that TikTok sounds amazing. Amazing and ridiculous. In the way only a TikTok can be. Okay. Uh, I don't know, I'm torn. Because, like, ink, this would be a very cool hat. For sure. This is tricky. It would be a good hat and a good skirt. Could we just use it for both? I mean, I guess there's nothing stopping me. Ugh, those pink ruffles are very lovely. I'm going to add those as a reference as well. That's true. No matter where that inky cap is going to end up, it's going to look cute. For sure. Okay. Get into the layout. Hey, come on. Mm. Gosh, which one of these is the image I just downloaded? Bye, crazed chemist. Hmm. All right, I think I'm gonna do the inky cap as the skirt, just because of, if I'm thinking about like wearability, I think it would be very frustrating to have ink orbs dripping in y'all face. That's my instinct from a, a wearability standpoint. Whoop. Orbs, ink orbs, yep. Just, I just think that would be annoying to have in your, your eyes when it comes right down to it. Like you'd bump into somebody and it would explode and then you'd just be covered in ink.
That is a great point. It would it would enforce social distance for sure. Nobody would want to be getting close to that. Uh, these shapes so often end up looking so square. Even though they start off as circles, I'm doing something to make them more square, clearly. I guess the fact that the tool that I am using to engage with them only engages with flat circles. I mean, that's like, it's a plane. And so it's easier to make something square because just by function of the tool that I'm using. Weird. Okay. Ooh, chanterelles. Let me look at a chanterelle. Chanterelles. Ooh, beautiful. What a beautiful mushroom. How are all these mushrooms so beautiful? Ugh. Okay. Beautiful, 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 beautiful baby. All right, now to think about how I want to do this. Because they kind of look like they come out and then down. Yeah, this dress got drip for sure. It got literal drip, but it got metaphor drip too. Drip. 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 I was hoping the close captioning would pick that up. Drip. There we go. Am I going to be able to do the stripe reading texture? I have an idea of how I might. It's very possible. That is going to be my goal. I'm going to fuss with it. I know of a way to make drip textures. 
not drip textures. I know of a way to make stripey textures. Uh, I have successfully done it before. Um, Joan Medubius had some nice stripes on her. So I think, I, I think I'll be able to do it. I'll make a couple of these longer. Yeah, this is, uh, already has, the skirt especially has strong Pokemon vibe. Ah, Cottagecore Pokemon, God. I mean, that would be everybody's favorite for sure. Hatterene, but all cooped up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Trips are surprisingly satisfying to make, is what I'm learning. That looks cool. That looks very cool. Really good textures. I quite like how that turned out. Yeah, okay. That's, that's cool. That's a cool, that's a cool skirt. I would wear that skirt, that, that slaps. Okay. Great, God, all right. Do I ever look back at some of my original blends to compare how far you come? I mean, sometimes I watch that intro scroll with all the creatures that I really need to update because it's it has about half as many creatures as I made. Um, but yeah, seeing the first creature that's on that roll is really, <laughs> I have come quite a ways since then so that is satisfying to see and then I peaked with Ivan the, the Beholder and uh, it's just all been downhill since then uh, okay all right god okay let's look at the these ruffles and think about how to turn them into a hat would they be would it be this direction with the hat or would it be like Wait. There we go. 
It would be like upside down. Um, Buffington, not really. It is technically on Thingiverse. Yes, everybody can use Thing. So you can download all of the files, the Blender files that I'm actually making here. Um, I usually uh, group post them. So it's not up to date, but it's close to being up to date. Ooh, a fascinator. I like the idea of a fascinator in this style. That could be pretty cool. A big old church hat. I like that. Okay. But no, I don't I don't have a deviant art. Where do people store their art these days? Gotta keep it backless, yeah. I think I'm gonna uh I think I'm gonna do something to connect the Inoki to the Morel. Oh, Instagram. Okay, is that where people post art these days? I only ever follow people on Twitter. I'm out of the loop. I'm not an artist, so I don't really know. Oh, art station. Okay. So do people don't use DeviantArt anymore? <laughs> That's probably for the best. All right, let me think about this shape. Yeah, backless with a little side titty. Classy, professional, casual. Um, gosh. Hmm. What am I... I'm trying to conceptualize even how to shape this, this, how to do these shapes. Um in a three-dimensional three way. Like, uh, uh, I'm definitely, typical tofu, yes. Definitely want to do a separate mesh. Part of me was what I'm, what I'm thinking about is like, I, yeah, I don't even begin to know how to make these shapes. <laughs> oh god that is a cool looking hat huh that is a cool looking fascinator okay i see what you're saying i see what you're saying yeah that's yeah that's a very good reference image um copy one petal and layer it maybe let me do uh, let me here's what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna start trying shit <laughs> and if it's wrong that's fine i'll just try other shit that's a good hat i'm gonna open that and keep that in a side side folder to look at because what what i could do huh could just do like whoop whoop let me in there let me in this there we go like maybe Yeah, we extruding for sure. We we extruding. <laughs> I love to extrude. It's one of my favorite functions. What if this shape but out? A water slide of death. That, now that is something we've made on stream. Hmm. 
Hmm. Hmm. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this shape, y'all. I believe in you. Oh no, Ika. That means a lot. Unfortunately, it doesn't make me any smarter. <laughs> but it's restored my desire to try. If only to keep... To keep going. I mean, this is kind of getting at it. Like it's kind of getting at the shape. It's also just like not. <laughs> uh. Hmm. Need swooping, huh? Building. I'm trying to think about how fascinators work. I don't own a lot of fascinators. I own I own an above average number of hats, but none of them are fascinators. Are any of them fascinators? I have a fascinator base, but I don't think that's going to help me. I bought a fascinator base so I could make a matching hat to a dress that I've made. I haven't gotten around to it, but I will someday. Maybe. When, when I have reasons to wear nice dresses again. I do have a fascinator. No, I just have a little hat. I don't know where it is, though. Hats are delightful, but they are hard to remember to wear. I assume the fez is pinned. Fascinators are usually pinned. I don't see why a fez would not. Hey, Chad! Bye, Buffington! Ha <laughs> ha! Peter, I like that about it, too. One of my favorite things about... I know how to use about a billion softwares because uh, my job for a while before polygon was teaching people how to use software so i know how to use a ton of them and one of the things i love about learning a new software is like trying to f figuring out the logic of how that software functions and then the sort of problem solving aspect of like okay but how do i get the software to do the thing i want it to do Uh, summon shakes. I hope if if you post your uh, art, your mushroom art, please CC me. I would like to see it. I would like very much to see it. Okay, so actually, kind of okay. It's kind of getting here. These are more. These are more upward tilting, and they have a little bit more of a lip. So let me do that. Get that swoop.
there we go. God, is this going to work? It better, because it's 10 o'clock. <laughs> this better be working, because it's almost time to end the stream. I kind of got there. It's not the most finessed version of this that I think there could be. But I actually think it probably pretty much got there. Blender plays to my strengths as a problem solver. I'm a much better problem solver than I am an artist. Uh, and Blender really plays to that, which is a thing I appreciate about it. Yeah. That kind of got there. That kind of got there. Could use more lip. But who among us couldn't? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. God, there are definitely hat shops in New York that do hat making classes. And sometimes I remember that and I'm like, maybe? Because a cool custom made mushroom hat would be pretty, pretty, pretty dope. Right? That'd be pretty cool. I already make so much of my own clothing. I just finally attached buttons to the cardigan I finished. Pretty pleased with it. Started making my first set of socks. Not enjoying it. Takes a lot of time to make a very small amount of sock. Not to my favorite. It does suck. Yeah. It does suck. But once the, the socks, I, I'm, I am knitting to match a skirt. And the power of having socks th that match my shirt is I can't, I can't refuse access to that power. I can't deny myself that. It would be too, it's just too much. It's too good. The posing that I'll be able to do when I've got socks that match one of my shirts, it's really going to open up a whole new realm of buffoonery for me, which I'm very excited about. <gasps> okay, yeah, that's pretty good. Whoa, Ratmas, that sounds awesome. I would love to attend. I wonder if that's a thing I can attend in New York. There's got to be some cool student fashion shows I can go to. I mean, not right now, but hypothetically in the future. success yeah okay all right it is 10 o'clock exactly and I've got a lot of very fussy finessing to do with this outfit but I'm extraordinarily pleased with how it looks well that head isn't even anywhere close to that head There we go. That's close enough. Yeah. All right. God, I cannot wait to slap some textures and colors on this because this is incredible. 
Um, as always, first of all, um, uh, I can't believe we got through all of that. Not a single phallus. We said phallus a lot. And by we, I mean me in particular said phallus quite a bit. But the important thing is I never made one on the screen and everything else is forgivable. Um, this turned out very nice. I can't wait to finesse it. I'm going to add buttons on top of the gnocchi. I'm going to add colors to all this. Um, but I feel great about how this all turned out. Thank you, everybody. Oh, I'm going to remember to raid. I'm doing that right now. Uh, I hope you all have a good rest of your week. Uh, it's starting to turn from spring to summer, which I am ecstatic about. Uh, and I'm feel feeling it out in the weather. Um, like I said, uh, I will not be streaming on Sunday in the time that I have been doing previously because I've got birthday party. Ah! Sorry, Jacob was screaming on, <laughs> on the Secret Sleepover Society stream. <laughs> um, so... Uh, we'll go ahead and raid, um, but so no Sunday stream. I'm going to try, I think I'll try to do a Saturday stream. It might be a little bit, it probably won't be two to four like I have been doing. It'll probably be a little bit later, but uh, just keep, keep an eye out for that. Subscribe if you haven't already. That's a good way of finding out or I'll post on Twitter about it. Um, probably, I don't know what we'll do. I don't know what we'll play. Something. Okay, let's raid now. Goodbye. Have a good rest of your week. Goodbye. Phallus.